So today's video will be a different kind of a video because in today's video, we are going to talk about a problem with blockchain. And the problem lies in the consensus mechanism or the consensus algorithm of the blockchain. So if we talk about Bitcoin blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain uses proof of work, right? And the problem with proof of work is it consumes a huge amount of energy, right? It consumes a huge amount of energy, which actually harms our environment, right? If we talk about proof of stake blockchain, uh, uh, like Ethereum, right, which has recently shifted from proof of work to a proof of stake blockchain. The problem with proof of stake is that the person who will be owning huge amount of money will be having higher chances of getting selected as a miner for the Ethereum blockchain. Because this is how proof of stake works, right? That you will be having some stake to put in this Ethereum blockchain and the person who will be having the huge amount of stake, that person actually will be selected as a miner for the Ethereum blockchain. So we can see that we have certain problems in our current blockchain. And this problem is actually being solved by some another blockchain and that blockchain is Fire blockchain. Let us see what is Fire blockchain, how it is actually impacting our blockchain world. So if we talk about Fire technology, Fire technology is using something very interesting. And that thing is United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So there are basically 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. You, as you can see on your screen, that is no poverty, zero hunger, good health. So they are basically 17 United Nations sustainable goal means United Nation is working on these 17 goals so that we can shift from this current world to a more sustainable world. Okay. And what fire technology is actually doing fire technology is, is using this concept of United Nations sustainable development goals. Let's say you are having a blockchain and now you are integrating this blockchain with United Nations 17 SDGs. So what you are actually getting is a new kind of a blockchain and that blockchain is Fire blockchain. Something great, right? What's in so interesting about Fire blockchain? Let us see this with the help of an example also. But before talking about that, which type of consensus Fire technology is actually using? So the consensus that Fire technology is actually using is proof of Fire consensus. So what this proof of Fire consensus is all about, let us see that. So this proof of Fire consensus consists of three things. Sustainable proof of stake, first thing, proof of benefit, second thing, and proof of donation. But in this video, our main focus will be on proof of benefit. Okay, so let us understand this proof of benefit in great detail. So if we talk about proof of benefit, let us understand this with the help of an example. So let's say we have two company. One company is using solar energy in order to generate their electricity. And we have another company which is actually using coal in order to generate energy. So if you compare these two company, which company is much more good, whether this company is much more good or this company. So if we talk about at environmental level, this company, which is actually using sun energy in order to uh, do their, you know, in order to run their factories or in order to run their machine is a much more good company than this company, right? Which is actually using coal, which is actually a non-renewable resource, which will get re uh, replenished if we are going to use it again and again, right? So in case of fire technology, this company will be rewarded because they are adopting sustainable practices. Okay. So this is how fire technology works. So let's say we have uh, like this company, this A company is having 10 women and this B companies are having only five women. Now in this case also, if you will see this company, this solar energy company, because it, it is having 10 women's right. So they will be rewarded much more as compared to this second company, which are actually using, which are actually having only five women in the, at their workplace, because according to United Nations 17 SDGs, there should be, you know, equilibrium in the working force of men and women also. So this is something very great, right? Let us see some of the key points related to fire technology. So the first point is that they reward sustainability, as you have seen in the previous presentation also, that they are rewarding sustainability for profit paradigm to for benefit paradigm. Means if we talk about our current industrial place, right? If we talk about our current industrial place, most of them are actually running on profit. So each and everyone is doing each and everything so that they can 
get huge amount of profit they are not following good environmental practices they are not following any kind of law just because they want to generate more and more profit so this at this point of time we are living in fourth industrial revolution age means where our focus is mainly on profit and not on our benefit right what fire technology is actually trying to do is they are trying to shift from this fourth industrial revolution to this fifth industrial revolution so that our thinking is not only dependent on profit but it also think about the benefit the sustainable practices that we should adopt in order to keep our environment green in order to have a sustainable workplace each and everything that that 17 united nation sdgs are actually defining right let us see some more interesting points related to fire technology so their aim is to become first layer one protocol to develop a sustainable and for benefit ecosystem based on the sustainable development goals defined by the united nation that we have seen right second is that their mission is to make blockchain technology sustainable and accessible for 1 billion plus people by 2030 third that they believe you can generate more profit if you are going to do more good to the world so if you are a person a good kind-hearted person it's your opportunity you are going to make a huge amount of money in that and if you want to learn more about fire technology then definitely have a look at their beautiful website they have an each and everything about fire technology on their website related to a developer related to validator each and everything is present on their website as you can see that about their testnet community and various other things are there and definitely you can have follow their social link twitter telegram github and discord as well so yeah if you are interested to know more about it so here you can see that so they are working on so many different things and they also have their i think youtube official channels yeah if you are interested you can have a look at it and these are their partners so it's a beautiful website if you are a developer and want to learn more about creating stuff on fire technology and definitely you should have a look at their developers documentation right so in this case you will be learning each and everything about fire technology how to create resources on it how to do various other stuff so learn and start building up it's a great website so do have a look at it i will share the link of their website and each and everything in the description of this video i hope you enjoyed this video so if you have enjoyed this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel because i'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel and you can follow me on instagram at coreta21 i will share the link in the description of this video where you can directly interact with me plus you can join our blockchain developer 2000 plus community member community oh community member community yeah whatever so just join it if you want to know more about blockchain and if you want to interact blockchain developers just like you so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye